Hello, welcome to another video where we will be drawing a load bearing wall sectional elevation. So let us go straight into the instructions. We are told that we are given an isometric drawing, which is this one, of a partial section of a load bearing wall with a foundation detail. So this is the foundation detail on the isometric view. And you must note that it is incomplete. In order to complete it, we must draw using scale 1 is to 5 the front view, which is this front view that is indicated using an arrow here. The front view of the load bearing wall with the foundation detail. And we must complete the view by inserting all subhatching freehand and use instrument only for hatching. So we must only use freehand for the for the insertion of the subhatching and then instrument only for the walls. So let us now convert our given foundation that is in isometric. Let us co please convert the dimensions to scale 1 is to 5. As you can see, I have done my conventions according to scale 1 is to 5, meaning that I have divided all the given dimensions with 5, and that is what I got. Remember, include this screed dimension as well, because that is our floor finish. So with that being said, I'm going to go to my starting point at A and start drawing the, the foundation. I'm just going to lightly have my starting point here. And then as you can see in your given dimensions, let me just go. As you can see in the given dimensions, you have to start at A, which is this point, and we have 120 there, meaning each side is 60. So you're going to mark 60 this side and then 60 on the other side. And once you have that, you can now try and get a, and extend that point first. And then on this point, we can see we have 40. So we're going to measure 40 going up. We're going to measure 40 going up. Then we're just going to outline that. And this right here is what is called the foundation. And if you don't know how a foundation looks like, here is a picture to help you. Please get an understanding. So this is how a foundation looks like. And I'm just going to finish off the side. So in order to represent in order to represent that it is a foundation you are going to fill it with concrete. And so you're going to start with the little triangles that represent the stones. So just some triangles there, here. Then your little coarse sand. like that. If you have more time, you can add more. Now we're going to draw our wall using construction and the dimension of our wall is 44.4. So 44 divided by 2 is 22. Point, 
we'll just put the 22.2 then we have 44.4 must be here so once you have that you're just going to use a construction line to put in your wall because there's some things that you need to add first before you actually outline your wall so there is your wall you drew it from the center and then as you can see here you have your from you have your natural ground level but from your foundation to the natural ground level it's 51 I'm just going to measure 51. Fifty-one and have my natural ground level B. So this is your you can even label it N G. L. It's your natural ground level. And then from the natural ground level, you have to measure 85 for the hard core and then 85 for the concrete slab that will be up there. So 85, 85, which will give us, which is 17, 17 according to the scale. So Just going to measure 34 because 17 plus 17 is 34. And then from there, I will get my 17, which is right here. So you've marked your 17, 17. And then, as you can see, this side is the natural ground level. So this side. So everything, then you will take it to your left. like that using your construction line and then now once you have your dimensions let us put the screed the screed is our floor finish which is right here and it is five millimeters so i'm just going to measure five millimeters so that i can get my screed so that is your construction of your foundation now let us start with our sub hatching we first going to start with our F filling and then go to the hardcore filling and then our concrete slab filling for the F filling I just need to have a stopping and a starting point okay I'm just gonna do that some cons and then once now that is done I can start adding my earth filling so I'm just gonna demonstrate with a few and then do the rest of camera so this is how you would represent an earth filling I'm going to start with one two three four and then this way Remember the instructions clearly indicated that you must use freehand. So there's no need to use your ruler here. I'm sure now you sort of get the idea of what you are meant to do here. So this is literally what you're supposed to do. Nothing really hard. Both horizontally and vertically. 
So you just have to fill in your earth. And I will, there's a picture that I will insert just here for you to actually see what earth, what I mean by the earth filling. So the one side is done. I'm just going to finish filling this other side, which is here. So same thing four vertically four horizontally and you go in that direction up until you reach your finishing point and start filling in the sides so from here you're just going to go Let's try to also be neat, don't just draw. So this is your earth feel. Now for the compacted hardcore, which is what will follow here. I just need to also have a starting point for both the hardcore and the actually everything here. So I'm just going to indicate that it has been cut. I'm just going to have that line that indicate that something has been cut so that I, yeah, that line, I'm sure you know it. Now I can draw my compacted hardcore here and it's just something that looks like a zigzag line. Try to make those triangles sort of look the same size. So that is what you will have. And then your concrete slab, as you can see, it's in the middle. So the middle of the wall must be right here. So that is where it is. And then you will also outline it and fill it with concrete. So I'm just going to outline my didn't outline my thing here. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then your concrete is in the middle there like that and then same thing that you did for the foundation add your little stones add your soil Just like that, you have your concrete slab, and then now to finish off with the
the screed and you have to indicate the finished floor level that it is F F L and that it's screed. Then once now that is done, you can outline your wall. So you're just going to have an outline. Okay, but there's just no way we will stop first. So that is your stopping point. So you will outline your wall. Here to here. Just finish off here. Mm -hmm. and then just draw the that to show that it's incomplete. Then once you have that, now you have to just indicate your natural ground level by just like that. And then you will add your DPC, which should, which is like a plastic. It looks like this. So you will add it just there. So you must just going to extend this line obviously then just thicken it and we come back to just color the inside you can even do this outside of the thing yeah so this is how you would draw your given you're given isometric view of a foundation like that. So this is your foundation, your earth filling, your compacted hardcore filling, and then your oof, mistake was made here, and then your Concrete slab. This wall should not pass the so it will just stay there like that. Yeah. Then you see your DPC as I have mentioned. So, so once now you're done, please just hatch your wall. Just hatch your wall. Then the last bit hatching. So this is how you would do this isometric drawing the front view of it like that. Thank you for watching.